Okay, welcome. This is the energy vibration reading for the um, Aries Sun Moon Rising sign for the third quarter for the month of April, May, and June. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Let's check out what is happening for you, Aries. Now, I want to say that this quarter has the energy of uh, the general energies and check out the energy, the general energies reading. Check out the full moon reading. This, these are very important that you guys check out the full moon reading because it has it the full moon reading affect each and every one like the monthly readings affect each and every one the full moon reading does the weekly readings will be back online so look out for those but at this moment i'm trying to get off all the back work that i have now please like share and subscribe it's good and let's see what's coming out for you for you guys it's the end of a situation a very positive ending in april whatever the situation is that was um, transpiring this is a good positive ending that is coming in and this is going to be wonderful because this is the energy of the heart sign um that could be coming in to help you but this is also the energy of the world and this is a yes whatever you decide to do in april yes go ahead go forward and do that okay let's see what's coming up in may for you guys the energy of the tower um a lot of people are receiving the energy of the tower something ending something leaving your life um in the month of may the taurus have it so if you have taurus um moon rising sign or taurus in your birth planet go and check it out because the energy of the the, the tower is here what else is here we have the energy of the magician that is coming up in june so we are going to be looking to see what is happening what is transpiring and how these energies are going to be helping you guys out so you have hurt fire and hair her fire and hair is the energy vibration for um, you guys. This is going to be good. It's going to be positive. Positive. It's going to be um, a renewing of fate, but also um, giving you a, a, a new start and a positive start ahead. So the second quarter of the year 2019 is basically balance is going to be coming in. Something must leave so that something new can happen. And as you accept whatever needs to leave your life, then this positive energy is going to be coming in energy with the world and the tower together is that something is finally releasing out of your life and you're saying goodbye to something so it's as if in the month of april you're thinking okay gotta let this go gotta let this go and it could a situation to have to do with people in power organization institute see it could have to do with the taurus because the taurus have basically the same energy so you might be in um alliances with the Tauruses and that sort of a thing and that is exactly what is transpiring so it could be an organization but we are going to be looking deeper so check out the extended reading on this is just a dollar 99 it's your reading you can always have it okay the only thing is that you're not supposed to um you know um give people your reading but um the extended readings are very wonderful because they go deeper in information and let you know exactly where to look and when to look out for this situation the tower and the magician is uh, um, bringing trans transition in your life and this is really good this is positive this is really good it is what you have been looking forward to you really want um this situation so as some of you what i'm receiving you aries that you could be released from an organization it could be the ending in may for you in an organization there is definitely a transformation that is going to be coming up with you aries and an organization so um you aries expect that in may you might um um loss um your job or that sort of a situation hope is the outcomes of this quarter so whatever the situation is and um, you Aries really connect to the online um, the on-demand um, you can use a link but below this uh, videos to go to the on-demand and then you will find out what it is so you're leaving this period having hope from a situation it's as if you're being released from an organization and you are now seeing the truth okay so this um, second quarter for you Aries is all about the truth it's all about you seeing the truth about situation and um, some clarity is going to be coming out whenever the energy come the energy is coming and bringing a trans a transformation okay so um, you Aries in the month of April 
um, check out the April reading because what is going to be happening and what is going to be transpiring is that a tower energy is coming in and it has to do with the organization so some of you it could be the ending of a situation a conflict with the organization or the ending of a situation with an organization that has to do with work okay this energy is coming in there's definitely a transition and uh, the energy of uh, the star is coming up so whatever it is um you're going to be finding out something about this organization or this group of people um that is going to be coming up so be aware of that and understand where it is what journey you're on and how you're going to be dealing with this so another hurt signs comes in and this is uh, actually saying that something is ending but um something new with a, a, another group of people or another situation is going to be happening and they want you to hold the fate okay they definitely want you to hold fate now in the month of June the energy that is here is uh, um, the go ahead of yes so you have actually two yes energies and it's in whatever you decide to do in the month of April whatever you decide to do in the month of June it's gonna be two yes energies that the universe is saying yes it is time for you to be released from the situation and there is definitely going to be a transformation that is coming into your life now endings are merely that people sometimes do not like endings because they don't understand what is going on why endings have to be happening but sometimes we hold on too tight on things and we need to release um, the things in our life and understand that we're only here for a time and things come into our life only for a time okay now I've changed up the reading totally and remember if you want to know when what is happening the full moon reading is up the, the weeklies are going to be coming back but the full moon reading is up so I'm using the energy of the angels and saint and Saint Francis of Assisi comes up and it has to do with if you have animals um, uh, this is one of the thing but Saint Francis of Assisi help um, you also to deal with the ego base of yourself so Saint Francis of Assisi is not only the angels of animals but he also um, help us to balance our um, animal instincts also so this is going to be good um, connect more with animals go out in nature connect more in animals um, pray for your animals call up on um, St. Francis of Assisi to pray um, for yourself but also pray more for the and your pets and that sort of a thing that is around you that is going to be good what else is coming up for the Aries um, um, there is going to be um, um, some of you who are going on vacation um, this is going to be good St. Christopher call upon St. Christopher to be um, protecting you on your journeys forward and St. Christopher is going to be there to protect you so this is a wonderful positive energies because what is transpiring is that we have the energy of St. Christopher and St. Christopher is going to be helping you guys to move you forward on a very very positive note okay so if you're um, going to be traveling in this quarter and you just need to call upon um, the Saint St. Christopher St. Christopher is the angels and saint of traveling okay so some of you um, could be traveling and you need um, this help another energy comes up I education and this means that you need to go and find out the, the mysteries and the truth of the universe okay some of you really need to understand um, um, cause effect cause and effect of uh, the energies in the universe and whenever this energy comes up it is asking you to go deeper and call upon your mighty I am present self to awaken to you um, the information that is needed okay so it's as if some of you um, sometimes people really think that they know everything and as I said to people you're always learning you are always learning whatever is happening and transpiring you're always learning I don't know everything I know some things and I'm gifted with the gifts that I've known um, how the universe work which is um, yeah psychics and that sort of people real psychics and um, spiritual people like workers um, actually comes in um, on this planet with more information than other people and what they're saying is that some of you think that you know and they want to teach you about cause and effect whatever the situation is this cause and effect that is happening um, to you Aries in the squirtle let's see what is coming up St. Francis what is the message that you have here um, for the Aries in this uh, um, second quarter of June he um, 
obviously some of you are working witchcraft negative energy black magic it has to do with animals and that sort of a thing and um, he's here to take this away from the animals so definitely some of you are working witchcraft it could be with animals or animals around you or been programmed with witchcraft because this is a lot that has been happening lately um, it is just so sick it's getting worse and worse and you need to understand that people um, there's there really some um, undesirable people on this planet and that could be what that is happening so your animals um, what what information was coming out is that some of um, that they're programming animal with ritual craft and this is affecting the people they are around so you need to be aware of that so you know I am like this sort of a person that basically don't want to have an animal in my house I had my um, my son dog for a time and now finally he's gone and I'm so happy um, because I just think that animals should not be caught up and close up in houses and I think I remember I used the key of light to remove whatever lower energies that was by him and he and, and give him peace okay all right so St. Christopher what do you have to say to um, the Aquarians St. Christopher what do you have to say to the Aquarians um, okay so St. Christopher is aware, making you be aware of uh, lies and deception being stabbed in the back so you got to be aware um, that as you're traveling be careful as you're traveling because people could be trying um, to do deceptive things around you and again to know what is happening with this ten of swords and it's a traveling situation whatever to do with this ten of swords Saint Christopher is here to protect you against whatever they are planning so whenever this sort of energy comes up is that some some this deceptive desirable thing will happen on your travels on your journey you know once you're traveling with transportation and he's gonna be protecting you okay higher education um, is a guided angel so uh, comes up with higher education and that message is all about a new start higher education is all about a new start this is what I said before is that um, the angels and guides want you to open up yourself uh, to the universe so that you can be aligned with positive new message so um, that is what basically is transpiring and coming up for you guys so that is just wonderful and just powerful we're also using um, the um, unicorn energies and this is a very very positive and you guys have the energy of um, connect with the unseen okay explore the unknown um, the unexpected awaits you explore the unknown the unexpected awaits you now whenever this energy comes up especially from the unicorns what this is saying is basically listen there is more um, beneath the surface there is more there are things that you're not aware of um, connect with your mighty I am present and ask your mighty I am present to open you up to the unseen world and by doing that you will meet your angels and guides and the spirit guides and all these people and you will be aligned and aware of what is transpiring okay and uh, um, it is it, it is really there is a situation that is going on with some of you um, Aries that is working negative energies because it's as if some of you Aries have chosen the work of witchcraft black magic because it's science in a different way okay it's spiritual science and you guys are working with us so you know um whatever you, you do because here you're trying to ruin someone and you, you um you Aries try to use witchcraft witchcraft and negative energies to ruin someone and it it, it, it repel on you and that is what going to be hurting you in the month of May not all of you only the ones who um, work with witchcraft because here it is science and the ten of swords because you try to do it to someone and it's gonna repel to you okay so um, hold your breaks because definitely definitely um, 
whatever you have done to someone with witchcraft it's coming back that's the people who um, work witchcraft black magic or whatever you call it um, that's what's happening and a lot of it is is happening the last time and especially Aries people like doing that to other people because they think that um, that is the way and it's gonna be repelling back to you in this um, quarter okay the universe have your back when I learn and lean towards love I am leading okay so when I learn to uh, when I lean towards love I am leaded when you're leaded towards love I'm leaded and what this is saying for a lot of you is then choose love choose love whatever you're doing whatever is happening choose love without love you are nothing okay people without love you are nothing so whatever the situation is I think that some of you are going to be seen that and this is only for the people for the rest of the people it's a beautiful quarter um, there is positive energies positive things that is coming in but for the people and that is it sometimes the universe for whoever is watching this sometimes the universe propel me to give you these messages because obviously um, this message needs to come up for someone out there ladies and gentlemen thank you for being here thank you for the wonderful support likes and share and I'm saying namaste until next time please like share these videos for the on-demand deal, use the link below and I'll speak to you next time.